Hey, what's up guys? So Lewis here and I'm bringing you guys this video to show you guys the absolutely best way to play Android or mobile games on your PC, okay? Without any lag or bloatware. And you guys know I keep it straightforward here on my channel. I tell you guys I don't beat around the bush or anything like that because I really want to help you guys and tell you guys the best way to do things and the best way things to download. And I have tried out Android emulators like uh, Andy, uh, Bluestacks, uh, which we call it, uh, Nox. Okay, and the problem for all these Android emulators is the fact that they have so much bloatware. If you guys don't know what bloatware is, it's basically these pre-installed apps that you're forced to download. Okay, and they make the Android emulator really laggy till it ends up crashing. Okay, because there's ads popping out everywhere. It's I uh, tried this, try that, because these Android emulators are sponsored by these companies, and that's how they make money. And this Android emulator that I'm going to show you guys here does not have any blower, okay? It does not lag, it just does not crash either, and it's really good, especially if you guys don't have the best PC. So, I'm going to show you guys here the settings, some gameplay actually, so I can prove to you. And I'm going to leave a link to it in the description below, okay? It'll take you to the website, just click download. But let me show you guys here first the Play Store, because in the Play Store, believe it or not, there's some Android emulators out there that don't have these top popular games, okay? And they're uh play store so you guys can see here it has all the popular games for mobile phones like clash of clans clash Royale, which are the top two most played it has minecraft 2 and a bunch of others and right off the bat you guys can see that it's really smooth okay it does not lag and this was the only thing that i downloaded so far okay this game clash Royale. this is all i came with so you guys can see it does not have any blower barely any blower and i'm actually going to show you guys here some gameplay of clash Royale, so i could prove to you that it does not lag because once you start playing games, okay, uh, and specifics Android emulators out there, they start lagging like crazy. So you guys can see I'm swiping left, swiping right, does not lag at all. Okay, let me open some stuff right here. All right, get some coins. All right, I'm not gonna play a full game, but I'm just gonna show you guys here a bit of gameplay because that's when it really starts lagging for some Android emulators. So let's go right here. And this is a, this is gonna be really convenient for me too because I like streaming and being able to stream with this is gonna be really nice because it does not lag at all so you guys can see all right there's no frame drops there's no lagging it's really smooth and it's, it's, it's look at that it's really smooth there's no frame drops all right let me actually get out of here so you guys can see there's no lag all right it's no lag and let me actually go here you guys can multitask go here to the multitasker all right go home and i'm actually going to show you guys here the user interface and settings and all that stuff so you guys can know how to use it and this right here all right this right here is full screen if you guys want to play full screen you press that really useful all right this key mapping this is really cool too because you can actually uh if you guys have a bluetooth control you can actually pair it up with your pc all right and you can actually put the controls yourself so that's really really cool if you guys want to play uh like a shooting game or something like that um first person shooter game so this next one is to take a screenshot you guys know how to take a screenshot on your phone this one you click it it takes a screenshot maybe you guys got a, a high score in a game or something you take a screenshot of it this next one is to shake all right the reason why they have this is because some games actually require shaking and since you can't shake your monitor screen okay you can click that and it shakes and um this next button is if you guys want to go in portrait mode okay you click on that or if you guys want to go on horizontal mode you just click on that this one right here is to download the APK from your PC. Maybe you guys got an APK from your PC that you guys want to download. You could do that. Uh, this right here is to kill the processes. Basically, you could do that already by clicking the multitask button and, and going left and right. But if you guys want to kill it all at once, you just kill that. What's really cool too about this Android emulator is that it has a screen recorder. So if you guys want to record some gameplay, you can just click the screen recorder and record and you guys can record gameplay. These, bot these buttons here at the bottom is to volume up, volume down. So if you guys want to use that to put the volume up. And next thing I'm going to show you guys is the settings, which is really important. And right here, you guys can adjust the CPU usage. It goes all the way up to four, all the way down to one. And I leave that too, so it's like halfway. And memory usage is really important. Maybe you guys might be experiencing some lagging. Maybe your PC is like really bad. You can put that down a bit. Our resolution, I'm using 720, which is actually really good. But you can go all the way up to 1080p, which is awesome. 
and it has some other stuff here advanced share just really um innovative settings right here so shortcuts if you guys want to you know use your keyboard to do some shortcuts like screenshotting and shaking all that stuff you can do that and there you go guys that's it this is the best uh, android emulator if you guys want to play games android or mobile games on your pc i don't know i'm definitely going to use this for streaming if i'm going to be streaming a game like clash royale or something like that because it does not lag does not crash all right really fast and does not come with any bloatware so and i hope that helped you guys out thank you guys so much for watching all the subscribers everybody liking commenting you guys are awesome for supporting me and i love all you guys and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace